we'll be getting way too much water here in the eastern part of the United States. Taking a look at satellite and radar here. We've got uh, Tropical Depression Fred making its way out of Atlanta, headed up into the mountains of western North Carolina and Tennessee. Uh, yeah, this is the fourth named system to make landfall so far this uh, tropical season. And you got to go all the way back to 2002. That was the last time we didn't have a hurricane by this point of the year making landfall. Uh, this was a tropical storm, very strong tropical storm, but it's continuing to work its way northbound. It's the circulation around it, though, on the periphery that would start starting to impact us here in eastern North Carolina. You can see some of those spotty showers, those streamers coming in off of the ocean, especially Surf City North Topsail. You look southbound towards Wilmington. It's looking pretty dark there. Same thing as you head down the I-40 from uh, Duplin County into Pender County. And we've been watching some of these spotty showers around Williamston and Windsor and the other one over there, Kinston over towards LaGrange. We'll see these isolated scattered showers and storms as we continue to go on through the day today. Now officially uh, Fred's down to a tropical depression again uh, moving to the north northeast at 14 with winds at 45 as it's starting to unwind right now and starting to pull some drier air in with it. Basically it's going from Atlanta to Pittsburgh so I guess it's going over there. Maybe the Falcons are going to play the Steelers or something here NFL preseason. Basically that's where it's going to be dying out as it goes through uh, the daytime hours tomorrow. Hot and humid just shy of that 90 degree mark already across the area for us here, but we'll see a lot of this high debris cloudiness starting to work its way across the area, kind of giving us that filtered sunshine appearance of the sky and the attack on about 8 to 10 degrees of where the actual temperatures are and what it feels like to your body. And this is going to be the case as we go on through the next several days. Heat and humidity starts to get those showers and thunder showers uh, bubbling up for us here, mainly west of Highway 258 through the afternoon hours here. And then as we go overnight tonight, we'll start to see that break eastbound. Nothing severe, just some uh, brief heavy downpours associated with these. Just look at it as Mother Nature kind of taking care of the watering of your lawn during the overnight hours. That's not the only game in town. We've got Henri out here south of Bermuda. Fairly strong tropical storm with 50 mile an hour winds. It kind of looks like it wants to head back towards us here. Then an upper disturbance comes through out of the Ohio Valley, grabs it and sends it back out into the Atlantic Ocean packing off to the north and the east. And we've got Grace also. This is going to be headed over towards Tampico, Mexico, well south of uh, the United States. Scattered showers and storms in here for the weekend, and then eventually we start to dry out and warm up as we start school early next Monday.